All right, this one is terrifying. How do I even begin? I need to think about it logically in some way instead of just fumbling around like I've already started doing. And this is already bad because I'm already stuck. Well, I wouldn't have been stuck if she'd only walked one, right? In theory, we could do this, or you could turn around. Now you could actually come out at that point. So wait, so, okay, so let's think slightly logically about this. <laughs> slightly logically, only slightly. The rest of it, I'm just gonna fumble my way through. Okay. Now the thing is, if I'm gonna be like, to like get people across the mud, we have to first get them to a cape then the other cape has to move to be in the next position, and then they walk into that. For that cape to move, for that cape to move, both of the ladies have to be on the same cape currently, for, for the other one to be able to move and allow them to continue elsewhere. So that means, oh, that's even worse. Okay, because there's no, there's no chance of them ever being like, I never want the ladies to go out of the exits. They're going to be on the mud at the same time. Well, okay. They can get to the opposite exits. Well, I mean, they can get to the same exit. I don't really care which exit they go to, do I? But the point is... What's the point? No, right now, they could just... At the start, because both exits are blocked, they have to be on the mud at the same time. There's no other option. So they are going to be standing on the same cape at some point. Ideally, to make it really easy for me, they would then suddenly be able to just walk. One of them would be able to suddenly walk to an exit, and then I don't have to care about that one anymore. I can just care about the other one. Okay. How do I make that happen? Okay, so I do want them to go to the same cape. so I can move the other one around. Okay, how do I do that? If you go there, or if you go there, it's actually quite easy to get them both on the same cape, but not to do it in a way that they aren't suddenly stuck. Because now where could yellow go to help out? Okay. <clears throat> so, if we're going to be doing this, then I think the cape that they both stand on needs to be in line with the knight? Like the knight can't be... Like currently the blue, the cape is in a line, but then the blue knight is standing to the side. But that means... Well, unless... Okay, so that would be fine if we were like shifted down a space. Because the... The lady with the white veil is trying to... Needs somewhere to go and would have to go... Oh. <coughs> We have to go up in this situation. Yes. So we'd have to be shifted down a bit to have space. But then we wouldn't be able to have space for both the yellow and the blue. Sorry, for both for both for both the ladies to walk off the blue, because we'd have to do that, right? We can't have both of the knights trapped. Um, okay. So that'd be, let's just try and get them to a position that's better. You there. This is no good because I have to get there. Okay, so we can't be blocking that space or that space, presumably. Correct. Okay, so but we could be like this, but no, she can't get to it. So there has to be some position. We're not blocking that. But a blue cape is at most two away from the lady in the white pail. Uh, and we're next to the lady in the blue veil. Okay, that would do it. Hold on. So now you come here. Do they have somewhere to go? That's the question. Could the lady in the white veil just spin around now and leave? Uh... 
maybe, but I'd have to be rotating the other way around. Okay, I can do that. Okay, let's rotate the other way around. You go there, there. What was I thinking? I just go here and have you spin. Okay, wait. So now this is just about getting you back to your place, if that's possible. Which way will you likely go? This way? Doesn't feel great so far. If I turn yellow around, come this way, she walks there, you walk through. But you can't turn like that. Oh yeah, that's a thing. So the, the veil's a different thing. So I don't think I even recognize that at any point. But the blue veil can't rotate around itself because it's too long. That would be fine, but I can't get there. That's fine if I then move again. If I come here and do this. Probably not great. Because now she can't move any further. Oh, <laughs> so close. So at the end, somebody needs to be like... Can't be like that. There has to be a cape there. How's that going to happen? Oh, we're going to have to tear, aren't we? Oh, we're going to have to tear. One or two? Two to get the knight back out. So like that, we're going to tear? Interesting. Like maybe it's actually really helpful to just tear early. Like she could, she can move now, and we could tear blue. Like, is it helpful to just drop bits around? Possibly. Okay, I have, a, I have way more freedom right now, although... Okay, well, hold on, what if we just tell you now, here? I don't think I get one space I need to fill in. Oh, but now yellow's gonna be stuck. Yellow, move out of the way. So wait, when I do that, whoever's doing the tearing needs to already have torn. Okay, hold on, maybe that's doable. Can I bring, okay, I can bring blue back. That means I want to tear... Sure, let's tear you already. For some reason. I realize I'm now losing a lot of my ability to do anything. But, okay, so we can get you. Can we get you to there? No. Uh, yes. Uh, not like that though. No, we can't get you there. You can't turn back on yourself. Let's go back a little bit. A little bit. Um, like, like I, I chose there to tear for no real good reason. I don't want to tear both of them. 
Maybe I did just want to tear that. Does it help to have blue go a different way for some reason? No. Can't get blue stuck, not yet. It gives her somewhere to walk to. What if I've done the first bit wrong? What if the first bit is like preventing me from doing this bit right? But I don't think it is like, I feel like this bit is its own little isolated thing. What if we do something different slightly before this? What did we do? We apparently spun around a lot. Could I tear this now? I could. That is interesting. Does it make it difficult for me to do anything else, basically? Yes. I think she needs to be close to the exit before I tear anything. How does one do that? This feels like what I did last time. This isn't it. Now this is close. <laughs> if only I could tear blue in that position. There you go. No, that doesn't work. She has nowhere to go right now. Let's go the opposite way to what I'm thinking. I can't give her a path to go to. I can't let her get stuck in a corner. Well, no, I can, but not if there's no way to put a cape in the space that she's trying to get to. working. Da, 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 da. What if I tear both of those now? I just lose so much maneuverability. Back to this again. What if we lose both of these now? I can't lose one of them. Which is what I did, I did before. This is no difference. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now I can get the lackey on there. Possibly. Hmm. Possibly not, actually. I don't think it's the right. No. Definitely nowhere near the right distance. I've put yellow somewhere better. I don't want to tear there at all. Can't rotate around myself. Can't get in your way. Still in your way. Feels bad. this again. But the fact that I keep heading to this, maybe this is actually along the right lines. I'm just missing something else. I wish she could tear my cape. <laughs> that would change the game entirely. Point yellow is stuck. Right, yes. we do. <laughs> we turn all the way around back here. But not like that we can't. In fact, not like anything. Well, if we turn like this? No, because it also leaves a yeah. I basically can't stop underneath the veil. That's the thing I need to avoid. I should have one space, but that doesn't help. Hmm. Go this way, put the capes in the way. I don't want to go to the edge of the, the wall. Okay, I've, got, I've undone that far. Whoops, let's keep them there. I'm pretty sure that's probably okay. Because now I've just got to move these two around. Right. If we tear both of these now. That is interesting because that means you can actually go down already. And oh, I'm done. I think I think I'm done. Yes, yes. Okay. Wow. I was pretty close there for quite a while. I honestly thought that puzzle might take me hours, but no. Turns out coming back to it helps. Oof. Oof. Which one? Let's do them in numerical order. For no reason other than numerical is a nice order. Right. Okay, rendezvous. 
Okay. Presumably they're going to pass each other again? Maybe. That's been the theme for this branch. Two flower spots. Right now, these two don't have much space to maneuver around without... Well, I mean... Oh, it's also interesting because she's going to leave him behind as well. So she goes there. Wait, okay, she's never going there. <laughs> That's a problem. In fact, she's never going to either of the flowers because then she can never get out. Okay, so he's going to both of them, otherwise they wouldn't be there, right? Okay, so let's get him. How do I do it? Like this. Uh, gold move? Yep, there we go. Let's get him there. Great. Now can I just get her out of the way and then the rest of it's fine? Like... Oh. Oh, we don't have enough cape to get her all the way across. So these guys are somewhere where I can finish the job. Okay. Wait, I, I don't have enough cape. I'm just doing this. Oh, no. Oh. Like that. But the lackey needs to stop somewhere else. Okay. Okay, for the lackey to end up in mud at the end when she's in that space, she would have to walk across the cape then for that cape to then move. Okay, that's doable though. Problem is if yellow's over here. Okay, so let's put yellow on that side. How long's the cape? Yeah, let's put yellow on that side. Blue on this side. Because then blue can move out the way at the right moments. Uh, what's the right moment? Now is the right moment. Now they both kind of stuck. Yeah. Hey, you can go across. I think we're pretty close though. What if blue is going the other way around? Or if blue... Could blue be going the other way around? Sure, probably. We just get these to... So once anti-clockwise around those four squares, we can do that surely. <laughs> Let's do a little shuffle like this. Although, yes, yes, like this. And then, to there. Does that make it better? I don't know. Wait, is that the same way around I had already had them? That is the same way around I already had them. Okay, so I went the other way around. Like this. Okay, go there. You go there. And uh, no. Because. Hmm. Blue stuck. I think there's to be some winding here, doesn't there? I think she just goes through in a straight line, maybe? Can she rotate around herself? She can't. Okay, that's useful. Because now, blue's there. Now these two are free. Are they going to get in the way though? That's the next big question. How's this bit gonna work? So he can get there. These the two now stuck. <laughs> Kinda. Although, can we just make a path? Wait, what if blue had just gone in there, in that little alcove? 
then yellow came along, or gold I guess, really. Can we finish this off? Sure. Ta-da! That one was not so bad. Dignity preserved. Wait, so surely these two have an extra level after them, but I would have got it if I... Right? Maybe there's like a joint level after both of them. Maybe these two combine back together or something. I'm assuming World 9 is the only 9 that's added in this expansion. Presumably? I don't know. Stalling ladies. Okay, back to the middle branch. This is going to be scary. Okay, so once again we have two ladies. They're both trying to get to that side. We only have one terrible cape this time, which is interesting. They are different lengths. I think the white veil is too long to rotate around itself, but this one, this is the test, is also too long. Are oh, they the same length? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. They're the same length. They both can't rotate around themselves. Okay. That's actually kind of nice, <laughs> I think. It makes it very constrained where they can go, but it means I can like cross those movements off my list quite quickly. So right now, the only thing that anybody can do is cyan, run around, um, but also she can walk forwards. They both have to leave this puddle. But neither of them can actually rotate around themselves. So it's not like I could just have capes set up here. Like enough capes that she could just come out and walk around herself. No. Like I could only make a square of four with the capes. And so if she came out, she wouldn't be able to circle around herself. She'd need like a, a rectangle of six capes, but we don't have that many. However, if there was a dropped cape somewhere, we probably could do something. Maybe? Maybe? It doesn't really increase the number of capes though, does it? <laughs> number of capes stays the same. Do I want her to walk off immediately or later? Can I get you to there? No, I don't have enough cape to get you across to the cyan. All right. So, let me turn blue around. So that allows you to get all the way over there. Yellow can escape before the cave gets trodden on. Uh, and then actually, you both could come out now, but that's bad. Because now the white one has nowhere to go. Except she would if, if you could get out of the way, but you're not going to get out of the way, are you? Yeah, this is going to be all about figuring out when to tear the cape. Also, that wiggle in the middle is a bit annoying. I guess. She has nowhere to go right now. Okay. I think I want to tear a cape somewhere near the exit. Potentially two capes. Starts going that way, and I do this. I'm trying to get the lackey to turn my cape. She 
actually can't walk any further. Both of them are stuck. Yeah, at some point I need to tell the game, otherwise they're just both going to get stuck. I can't just constantly keep them both on the same uh, cape. Could Siam be tearing the other's cape? I guess. Like, what if... Like, we might do something like this at some point. Just not here. She can't get out of there, I don't think. Nope, she's gonna struggle. Okay, so let's not do that exactly. What if we get her to wind that way and then back around herself? Stop under the cape. Uh, okay. Let's turn this way. Again. She could walk there. Blue cyan could come round and yellow could split. It feels like a bad place to do it. Honestly. But we'll see. Yep. <laughs> it's also possible they get split separately somewhere. What if you go like this? Don't like the wiggling. The wiggling becomes a problem. a wall effectively. <coughs> they come close to something interesting though. I don't want to get in the way. I could do that. So I could come back through. No, she needs to be on the back. Down one, yellow continue. She's on the back, okay. Now that is an interesting place to tear, I think. It's right in the middle, which gives a lot of maneuverability. I say a lot, I don't really mean a lot, do I? Expecting this to work. <sighs> Definitely feels still feels too early to be tearing stuff. Well, unless you go like 
this and you'll stuck. If you were like this though. I find ways she could stand on the cyan cape and then get back to the gold one, which is easy enough, but without getting stuck. I'm tearing too early. I need to get the white veil out of there some points. Could it have happened around here actually, like before all this stuff? When blue was getting into place. Could have started already and then she could have gone there. Could she like get far enough out of the way that the other one can get out? No. Is that would that ever be possible? No. Maybe. She would have to be able to, the, the white veil would have to be able to walk one, two, three, four, five, one, two, like six spaces out, five spaces out of, of the, like five spaces into the puddle would get the lucky out, but the lucky would be in the way. So an extra space beyond that, so six, and then the other lady would move it through. That's too much. both onto the same cape. Which I can't like that. Feel great. It's definitely not great. Let's stop the meeting. What if you walk off and just walk? A little bit further along, and then we say you now. It does feel very early, but who knows? Mm -hmm. 
Now that is interesting actually. Can you now make enough cape to not be in the way? No. Uh, maybe like this? Huh. Wait, am I done? <laughs> I might be... I am? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that idea of like shuffling along one space was... It worked out. Is that everything? I think that might be everything. <laughs> Yes, this seems to be everything. There's no like actual ending anymore. <laughs> Let's just finish the levels and we're done. Well, that was neat. There's no 10th world. That was nice to have a bunch more new levels and they were good. This middle branch was, well, especially the that 9-6 was very difficult. And yeah, I think all three of the middle branch were felt like ones I was really stumbling through <laughs> rather than... I guess I was, I was using a bit of logic, but it's very difficult to logic about that stuff. To, to logic about good English. Um, top row was, I thought, really interesting. That was maybe my favorite one, I think. Maybe just because they were easier. Not that I'm like, I prefer easier puzzles, but there's just the... I don't know if I'm just thinking about the satisfaction of having done them quickly and then go, oh, I must love those puzzles. They must be the best ones. I thought they were pretty interesting generally anyway. I, although I can't remember the wall. What was in the control? Yeah, I know. I thought these, was, these were cool. These were all the ones that had multiple levels with puzzles on them, which were really neat. Um, and these ones were the ones where they had to pass each other, which I also enjoyed. If I was going to rank these three branches, it'd be the top branch, favorite, bottom branch, next, middle one. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just hard to reason about. And so that makes it a little bit of a different experience. Um, I still have a good time. It's weird that there aren't more after those two, just to make this like, uh, like even. <laughs> So yeah, that was nice. It was nice to come back to this game, play some more puzzles. Uh, I really love this mechanic. So um, I look forward to when World 10 is released, right? I mean, someday, maybe? <laughs> there is absolutely no uh, sign of that coming, I don't think. But we'll see. Uh, I would enjoy it if it did come. All right, okay. Uh, I'm playing something else next. What are we playing next? Um, I'm thinking of playing through... So I was just involved in making a little game um, called Dr. Jelly and Mr. Slime, uh, which I contributed the puzzle towards. So I might play that. I've played most of it already, so it'll be really quick. There'll, there'll be some puzzles I get stuck on because I haven't seen them before. Well, some of them are just really tough anyway, just to redo. So it might get stuck a few times, but it'll be a fairly quick set of videos. Uh, I guess I'll be able to talk about the like process of making it and all that. It was a good time. So see you for that.